Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In this video, we're going to attach the fins to the short body tube. As we mentioned before, the fins are going to go between the lines and overhang onto the transition itself. Um, it's also going to interfere with the vacuform wrap, so we're going to cut away just a small portion where it overlaps. So position the fin between the lines, and then with a pencil, draw around the back of the fin. So you know how much to cut away and just use your hobby knife and just go work slow now this is glued on so you're going to need to get underneath and pry it up. You may remove a little bit of paper like I'm doing here, but this is going to get covered by the fin, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay, just like that. And we're going to take some thick super glue and we're going to put it on the root edge but not the uh, small wedge shaped portion with the point on it just on the flat part right here that goes against the tube and smear around a little bit now notice that the transition is not glued on yet so we're going to glue that on after we get the fin on we want to make sure it's in the right position So make sure that that joint right there where it transitions from the flat to, to the transition section, it's nice and tight there. And I'm pushing up from the inside to get it, make sure I got a good bond there. And I'm just holding it here for the glue to get a chance to set just a little bit. Double check it, make sure that it's aligned. I got a little bit of glue that oozed out, so I'm going to wipe that off. It doesn't want to kick, so. I'm going to use a little bit of accelerator here. Okay. And then carefully rotate the transition so the point of the fin goes right to the point of the transition. And Sometimes these fins can be a little bit curved and you can gently push it to one side or the other if it is. Okay, right there like that. And I'm holding it tight. And from the inside, I'm going to take some thin super glue and go right around that inside edge on the transition. And this will just wick right in. And bond it in place. Okay, and then I'm going to glue down the tip 
And what happened was the glue came right along and actually glued it down for me when it wasn't ready to. Okay, so my, my tip is a little bit crooked, so I'm going to push it to one side, hold it, and then put a drop of CA glue and just let it wick right down along that joint. Okay. And that's the procedure. And for the next one, again, you're going to trim around if it overhangs. This one is not quite as much. It's a little bit. kind of cool doesn't it but go ahead and double check along each joint make sure that there's no gaps in there you can fill them either with the filling um, the epoxy clay the fix it epoxy clay or thick CA glue I would recommend the thick um, fix it epoxy clay uh, because you can really wedge it under there make sure it's really good and tight and that's a really good adhesive